Hey everybody, Mark Walters here, and in this video I want to share with you ways that you can be building up your cash buyers list based on questions that you ask incoming buyer phone calls and buyer leads. Now you can be doing this or if you're outsourcing this, whoever's handling uh, these incoming leads, they can be asking these questions. But if you think about it, yes, you've got a property that you want to sell and you want to sell it quickly without a doubt. But it could be that these are people that are cash buyers that want to be buying more than just your property. Maybe they're buying properties on a regular basis. Maybe they are rehabbing them. Maybe they're holding on to them for rentals. And this is a way that you can start building up your VIP buyers list. And it really boils down to the questions that you ask. So in your marketing, if you're looking for cash buyers, because say you're wholesaling, so you might say, I need to sell this property in a few days. And uh, you know, here's the price cash. You're going to filter out some of the people that don't have cash and that way when the people call in you can say, do you have cash to buy this property? Yes, I do. Okay, well let me just ask you because I have people that will tell me that. How are you getting your cash? Do you have it? Do you have a line of credit? And if they say something like, well, uh, I've got a partner, well then you've got to beware because you really want to be talking to the partner as well. It could be that they're dealing with people that they don't know, maybe they took a course and they, that's just something that they say. Uh, conversely, if they say, well, I do have a line of credit, you know, that's okay, but if they say, yes, I do have cash, well then you're, you know, you're dealing with somebody who's for real. You might even say, are you looking to buy more than one property? If they say, yes, I am, then you've got somebody who definitely has potential to be on your VIP buyers list. Then you might want to ask them, how many properties did you buy last month? And if they say, well, I bought more than one, you know, I bought three, five, whatever, well, then you know that you've really got a hot buyer. Then you're going to say, well, what kind of properties are you looking for? And are there certain areas that you're buying in? Then you start targeting what it is they're looking for so that that way you can be targeting your marketing to be buying properties in those areas uh, at prices that you know they're buying them at currently. They've got cash for them and then you've you've really streamlined your business. And that's one thing that you want to be asking people all the time when they're coming into your funnel is do they have cash and then all the questions that I just went over. And you also might want to ask them, do you know of other people that are looking to buy properties for cash as well? Because sometimes these people are going to know other people. It's just the circle that they hang out in and you might be able to pick up a couple other people uh, that are good hot prospects for cash uh, buyers as well. So I hope this helps you to build your VIP buyers list because once you've got that then you can be going after great uh, deals and know that you can turn them very very quickly. I'm Mark Walters and I look forward to sharing more with you very soon.